elected in June polls marked by record abstention, Ibrahim Raisi succeeded Hassan Rouhani as Iran's new president. It was his second attempt at the job after coming in second in the 2017 elections with 38 percent of votes. The conservative cleric who ran on an anti-poverty and anti-corruption platform previously held several positions in Iran's justice system. He was attorney general from 2014 to 2016 and in 2019 he was named head of the country's judiciary by Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, a sign of the trust placed in him by Iran's supreme leader. Raisi is seen as uh, somebody who's close to Iran's supreme leader, Ali Khamenei. Um, he is conservative, ideologically supportive of the revolution, um, and also religious. A hardliner, Raisi belongs to the ultra-conservative camp that distrusts the West and is under U.S. sanctions for his alleged involvement in the 1988 execution of thousands of political prisoners. While Raisi has hinted he was willing to restore a landmark 2015 nuclear deal, he's made it clear he sees it as Washington's responsibility to revive the agreement. My serious suggestion to the U.S. is for them to swiftly fulfill their obligations. They must lift all sanctions to show that they're truthful. They must know that our foreign policy does not start with the nuclear deal and will not be limited to it either. Raisi will now be under pressure to jumpstart an Iranian economy severely impacted by U.S. sanctions and mismanagement without upsetting his conservative backers.